The cat family are the ultimate predators. No other mammal is such a finely tuned assassin. What makes a cat such an efficient killing mechanism? Well, these tiger cubs are four months old and already they've got all the attributes that they'll need just in a smaller form. They've got large feet, very large paws, long claws, very sharp. They've got teeth that are able to slice off meat, able to bite into the prey, able to kill it. They've got whiskers to sense exactly where the item is so that it can bite precisely. They're strong, well muscled, and they're fast moving. So the whole package combines together to make an animal that really is superbly equipped for what it needs to do. A full grown Siberian tiger can weigh as much as 300 kilograms and is the largest cat today. But compared to some of its ancestors, it would look like a pussy cat. There was a creature that died out just a few thousand years ago with the most lethal weapons of any carnivore. It was called Smilodon, the fabled saber-toothed cat with its 20 centimeter long teeth. Although the sabers were Smilodon's most dramatic feature, it's the whole package that made it such a lethal killing machine. If you look at the skeleton as a whole, it was a very, very strongly built cat. The forequarters in particular, the, the front legs, the shoulders, the neck, are extremely heavily built. Like many cats living today, it was probably fast over a short distance. It was probably an ambush predator able to sprint out from cover, using its speed in order to close the distance very quickly, and then using its great strength to seize the prey and pull it down. As usual, it's the teeth that really tell you how Smilodon went about its business. If you look at the skull of a Smilodon, your eye is immediately drawn to these sabre teeth. But it's got teeth at the back here that are equipped for slicing, for slicing meat. It's got teeth at the front that are equipped for pulling meat off getting it into the mouth. It's got large upper canine teeth that are equipped for slicing into the prey once it's held immobilized. So everything about it shouts predator at us. This is not an animal that can, can eat grass or vegetation. It's a, it's a predator, it's a killer. Giant sabers were there for one gruesome purpose, to be driven into the neck of the prey and in one bite to rip its throat out. 